So I'm sitting here in Karak Castle, which was built by Baldwin I of Jerusalem in 1142. But the reason that I particularly wanted to come back to Karak Castle was because since I went, it was here the first time, I did a lot of reading about the Crusades and a lot of YouTube videos. And the one person that really stood out to me was Renard de Chillon, a minor French noble. And when the Crusades were happening, the Franks, the French, were part of the Crusade and came to this region of Levant to get back Jerusalem, to hold Jerusalem from the um, Muslims. So for the Second Crusade, Renald de Chillon came to this area as a 28 year old and he met and married Constance of Antioch when he was 28 years of age. He was of minor nobility, so wasn't really that impressive. And they kept their marriage secret for a, a long time because Baldwin um, did, wasn't um, notified or wasn't consented um, about the marriage. They, according to, depending on what books you read, they had two children, they had um, Agnes and Jean. If you read another one, they've also got Reynald, a son as well. It depends on which literature or which information you read. Renaud de Chillon is either described as a rogue or a hero, a rebel or a villain, a, a goodie or a baddie, depending on which side you are looking at it from. There is one story about when he was trying to raise money um, for a crusade or a raid that he put the patron of Antioch um, beat him up quite severely and put him out in the sun all beaten up and put honey on his head so that um, the insects would get at him and he was a pretty old man and so after this kind of torture and abuse he consented to giving Renald the money for the crusade or the fight that he wanted. After a raid in 1161 Renal was captured by the Muslims and was imprisoned in Aleppo for 15 years. And normally what would happen with a crusader is they would be ransomed by their king, someone of Spain or, you know, whoever they were on their crusade for. But because Renal was not overly liked, they left him there. And eventually, after 15 years, he was ransomed for 100 and 20,000 gold dinar in 1176. That is a phenomenal amount of money. But while he was imprisoned in Aleppo, um, Constance died in um, 1163. So when he was released, he became envoy to for Manuel, I think Manuel was of Spain, an, an envoy to Baldwin um, the Fourth of Jerusalem. Baldwin the Fourth was the leper, the 16-year-old leper. At this time, Renard de Chillon went, um, was married to Stephanie de Milly, and they had um, several children. They had Renaud, Renald, um, Alice, and depend of course who you're reading, they've got a third one, they've got Aveline. With Baldwin IV, the leper king, the 16 year old, um, there was a battle of Mont Gazard, and depending on which literature you read, um, it was it is said that Renal de Chillon was the actual leader for that battle, and that was a battle that the Crusaders won, and um, Saladin was not happy at all. So from Karak Castle and Shobuk Castle, 
Um, Renal was a pretty evil guy. For if you were his enemy, it wouldn't be uncommon for him to throw you over the ramparts uh, and crush you to death over on that spur. During 1182, these, these castles were in a perfect position to do raids on pilgrim caravans um, and pilgrims going down to Mecca. Saladin also had trading caravans coming this way and what Ranal would do would be raid them and he wouldn't give them back, wouldn't pay ransom to give them back. So he was really ticking off Saladin. It is said that in 1183 in this castle here, Carrot Castle, when Humphrey IV and Isabella of Jerusalem, Humphrey was 16 and Isabella was 14, they got married here in this castle and Saladin was besieging the castle at the time and what it is said that um, Stephanie de Milly had sent food down to Saladin so that he would not bombard the marital chamber of the the wedding. With those Red Sea ra raids in about 1183 and in about 1185 Renal de Chillon um, became allied with Sibylla and Guy of Lucerne. With all this aggravation um, with the raiding of the pilgrim caravans and the, the other caravans. It's at this time that Saladin put a jihad on Renal de Chillon. In 1187 to the north of here, Lake Tibris, was the site for the Battle of Hattin. And this was the battle where Guy Lucerne and um, Renal de Chillon were captured by Saladin. And the story goes that Saladin gave water to Guy and Guy drank the water and then he passed the water over to Renal and Renal drank the water. But because Saladin did not offer the water to Renal himself, what he did was invited Renal to his or took Renald to his tent, to, to another place, and basically struck him with a sword and while he fell down, severed his head. And that was um, 4th of July, 1187. So I keep saying it depends on who you read and who you listen to because there is several different sources that you can get your information from. One source said that it was because he didn't because he drank the water that wasn't offered to him personally by Saladin that he was beheaded. Another said that it was because he would not convert to Islam and that's why he was beheaded. So Renal de Chillon was about 61 or 62 when he was beheaded by Saladin where you know, the other two excuses were probably pretty good. Drinking the water wasn't offered to you and um, not converting. But I think it's a third. I think it is more, it was a really political move by Saladin because Renaud had just been such a pain in his side for such a long period of time with all the raids and, and stealing the, um, you know, rioting the pillar room caravans and stealing all the, the trade stuff. I think it was a political move to get rid of Renal. So there's three really main sources that you get your information about Renal, and one of them was from William of Tyre, who wrote really poorly of Renal because Ray was basically humiliating the Christian world with all of these these raids, and he wasn't listening to what the the, the kings were saying. The second place to find it is in Muslim history, historical documents, because when Saladin actually wrote back to say why he had killed Renald, it demonstrated that he was really a formidable opponent and was really quite respected as, a, 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 as an opponent. So he was actually really quite respected by the Muslims.
Some modern historians say that he was a maverick, that he was really disrupting the Christian cause and humiliating. Some say that he was a marauder that just could not resist temptation. Some Christian historians say that he was a martyr and that he was experienced and he was a reasonable leader. One of the primary reasons that he is actually a good leader is because he actually prevented unification of all of the Muslim states that were around just because he kept disrupting so much of the surrounding Muslim area. So there are a lot of historical novels that, dis have, that include Renal de Chillon and they will give very different stories, different perspectives of him. But if you want to see a representation of him, you can look at Ridley Scott's 2005 movie, um, Kingdom of Heaven, where Brendan Gleeson plays Renal as a big hairy buffoon, basically, that grovels and humiliates himself and has, had, has to kiss the hand of um, Baldwin IV, the 16-year-old leper king's hand. It's a pretty interesting depiction of Renard de Chillon. But just to be here at Carrick Castle at the moment, Chobot Castle is closed for renovation until the next year. So this is um, February of 2020. So until 2021, I can't go back to Chobot Castle. So if you want to walk in the footsteps of the Crusaders, <laughs> come to Carrack Castle.